What's going on, everybody? Dead Moon here from The Grave slash Dead TV. And tonight, I'm shooting a video. It's been a while. I don't know. What do you think? Three weeks? I haven't checked really, but I know it's something like that. But I figured now's the time to shoot a video because uh, I've had some time to work on the room. I had the day off from work and I took the opportunity to go through some stuff and uh, set up some uh, lights and stuff like that I wanted to do in the room. But uh, I guess I started off showing you this shot because uh, I've showed you the. Uh, Yellowhorn here before from Destiny. I got that for I think forty dollars out of town. I was near Detroit for a concert and uh, some GameStop had like two or three of those, and I think they came out at like one fifty. But I, I grabbed it at thirty nine ninety nine. But I got some cool Destiny stuff over here, builds and whatnot. I got to put together and uh, Pokemon build. I like Pokemon. I don't give a fuck what you think. And uh, some new amiibos I picked up here. King K rule and. Uh, Piranha Plant. People are really looking looking for him. But, um, or, sorry, Piranha Plant. They're really looking for Piranha Plant. But, anyways, I showed you the Destiny stuff before I walked into the room. This is kind of like a pile of stuff here that I want to get to. You know, I want to kind of push into the room somehow, but I got to finish up in there first. But I managed to grab the uh, Titan Shield replica as well. Um, God, I got that for $25 uh, the other day on Pro Day, but I wasn't a pro, but it wasn't a part of the pro sale. I don't uh, see much of an incentive to be a pro too much anymore with GameStop. Um, I was an elite pro. That was pretty amazing. Oh, let's, uh, let's get a shot of that dusty-ass vacuum. Uh, what do you call that there? Tub? Doesn't have a bag. I don't know. I got to clean that out. I just swept today, so forgive me. Anyways, um, yeah, I got that for $24.99. I think it retailed at $100 or $80 or something like that. Nobody was buying them, but they look great at $25. I'm getting it. Anyhow, we're going to go into the room. I'm going to show you what uh, I've been working on. First of all, I've been working on my computer. Mine, don't mind the mess. Um, this was a lot messier. I don't know how bright it is in here because uh, I've been moving stuff around and my lamp's down there on the floor, so it might be uh, casting some stupid shadow. Anyways, uh, I decided to work on my computer. I had this dumb thing that went up and around it and I don't know, it was like a cubby, and it really got in the way, and I couldn't stand it, so I ripped it off and broke it, and because I bought a new monitor. And uh, I don't necessarily remember the model right now, but it's a wide uh, 1080p 75 uh, free sync. It's a really uh, pretty good monitor. I bought it for um, one nineteen ninety nine at Best Buy. I think it was Thursday of last week, but anyhow, I replaced that monitor over there, which you can't see right now, but... It's right there. Anyways, it was like a 720p monitor. I'd had it for a while, and I really wanted an upgrade. But anyhow, there's usually a $200 monitor. They're back on, uh, they're, they're, I'm sorry, they're not on sale anymore. They are $200 again, so hell of a deal. When they go back down, I'm going to get dual monitors, damn it. Anyways, don't mind that crap. That's nothing. Uh, I ended up getting a new keyboard. This is a Logitech. Can't remember the model, but uh, I stay with the Logitech brand. I got the G602 gaming mouse and uh i can't remember what the model number is for this but it's got a lot of cool effects as you can see you can change that and speed it up pretty neat anyhow um i got rid of that cubby because i decided to go with shelving instead like this which uh frees up more wall space and um also looks a lot cleaner but anyways you've all seen the games before this this and that but the uh big thing i've been working on here other than that is um the lighting in here. Now I have the light on right now, so you're not really gonna get the full effect of what I did, but I did just add track lighting. It's a uh, tape lighting behind this, whatever you call this here. I don't know, you come in here and it's got, it's pretty much covering up the pipes. Uh, I can't remember what that's called. I'm drawing a blank. Anyways, I'm gonna kill the lights and uh, show you the effect I got going in the room. Mind you, those lights are not synced up with these lights. They're both the same type of lights, uh, Patriot Menards exclusive brand LED tape light. Um, you can sync them up. I just got to use the same remote on them and uh, kind of hit them at the same time. Got to kind of get lucky or whatever. But I'm going to end up taking these lights down. Uh, there's something I bought real cheap from Target. I cannot even remember, like $250 a box or dew drop lights. Or, uh, they're like on a wire. They're kind of bendy wire and whatnot, but... I mean, they look okay. They're good for, like, framing things. But as you can see, the stuff on the shelf doesn't get hit by much of that light. Um, but with the LED tape, 
you can go right on the bottom of a shelf and project all these different effects down on your collectibles, which I admit this doesn't look the best. I don't like how that connector has to do that. It's just, ugh. I'm going to figure out either way how to hide that or a better way to uh, string these lights because uh, I don't like that and I really prefer they don't show. They look okay and pretty good in person, but you know what I mean. It's better to have the effect without actually seeing the LED. But anyways, that's what I got going on in the room right now. I'm going to bring these lights all the way across. I just had to need a patch right here I got to put up. I think it stops like right there. I got more of those to do, but I hung those up today. But that's pretty much the um, the feel for the room, what I was going for here. That's a little too bright for my taste back there, but it does have a dim switch, so I can dim it down. And there's a flash effect, strobe effect, and then there's a bunch of solid colors you can have it on too. So I like it when I have it on a solid color and I bring it down just enough. You know, this is pretty bright. I guess if you need light, if you don't have your overheads on like this, you can leave them up that bright. But and uh, I didn't have these on before. You know what? I'm going to hit the light so you can see these better. I didn't have any of these up before. Uh, I've been working on my box figures. Got some uh my modded arcade one-up Street Fighter machine right here, which I'm probably going to move into the arcade room. It's just here for now because I'm still working on the uh, Raspberry Pi. Still doing some stuff. I'm still not ready to shove it back there. And I don't have it on a riser yet, but... Why not have some uh, Alien vs. Predator for Arcade rolling on the background? Because I got my Alien Predators right here, so... Works out great, huh? Well, kind of set it up like that, but anyways. Uh, Resident Evil 4. Love the game. Love the figures even more. Uh, standard Resident Evil figures. Hunk. Zombie. And I'm a big Gears of War guy, so... I managed to grab quite a few of these Gears of War figures back in the day as you can see didn't get general rom really pisses me off but had him in my hands let him go just uh thought he'd be there i don't know what i was thinking uh playstation led light i like that but you guys have seen this before in another video basically just my box box figures i gotta go up on the wall so bioshock mass effect those are pretty expensive i think original halo joyride studios uh figures over there more Bioshock, Legacy of Kane, God of War, Lost Planet Max. I love those things. Nobody has those, man. My Castlevania figures, Resistance, uh, Attack on Titan, Bendy and Inky. I like that game. Don't care what you think. Kingdom Hearts. What's underneath Bendy and Inky? Oh, Star Wars and uh, Destiny figures. Those, I'm going to try and fit uh, quite a few. I think I can fit quite a few on this wall here still. Like I said, that arcade machine is going to go in the arcade room so I'll have more wall space there and uh, can probably bring it down to about there I don't know maybe this first shelf here on this retro game stand maybe put a couple back there even because it's pulled away from the wall enough so I can do that but I don't really want to clip into the chair I'll always have the chair pulled forward but I'm thinking about buying a couch and sticking it right there instead so you can see I still have some uh, real estate up here to work with and uh, I was gonna buy shelving for that just um, uh, shelving like this you probably can't really see it but it's not as wide it's more shallow and uh, that would look good because I got a lot of loose figures I'd like to wrap them all around the uh, perimeter of the basement so I'm gonna put shelving all the way down there that way I can uh, display a lot of loose figures I have which I do have quite a few but guess while we're over here i show you I got my game systems and the Vita is kind of put away right now. I was playing it, so it's not up on the dock. But I like to have charge controllers. I like to display my VR. Stuff like that. I've showed you this. None of this is really permanent. I mean, that is. But, you know, all this stuff I just have out. I just sat it out because it's bigger items and whatnot. More of my modern, modern titles. Even though there's Wii and... Uh, 360 down there in PS3. I got, you know, the PS4 and Xbox One and Switch stuff there. Collector's Editions, I still have to go through. Several of them never opened. I got a few pricey ones. Very happy about what I got over the years, but whatever. You guys have seen the old GTX 13, I believe it is. 
old school TV before. Sorry, I'm not going into detail about it. Still need to work on my retro games. I mean, I got the systems ready. A couple of them are hooked up, mounted the TV, 32 inch. And uh, as you can see, I got the uh, old GameStop uh, system selector there. Love that thing. Um, and then another system selector down there I got from like Amazon, whatever. Uh, connect, yada, yada, yada. Just a bunch of cords that I got to use to hook these up and clean it up, make it look nice. And <clears throat> I don't know, maybe I'll put LEDs behind that too. And I'll figure it out as I go. Um, so as you can see, I got shelving up there and that empty space. And uh, none of this is permanent. These are just all figures right here that are bigger or had to come out. And I was just setting them up and then I'll rearrange accordingly how I feel. But that's pretty much what's been going on. I haven't made a video in a while. I felt like making one. I had the day off. I got plenty of uh, energy to do so. So I figured, what the heck? Maybe some of my subscribers are wondering what the hell I've been doing. But that's what I've been doing, guys. Um, putting up some lighting effects and working on the room. And like I said, it's not completely final. There's going to be some tweaks. Um, those dewdrop lights are going to come off. I just don't think they're going to work. I'll go with LED tape and, yeah, dim them down and make it look really nice. But kind of... Kind of sad over here at that that chair that I've been sitting in for a while. I got to get me a couch or something, fill in that space, and let the family come down here and hang out and all that good stuff. But anyways, it's it's coming along, guys. Um, really appreciate you guys checking out the video. Hope you liked it. Hope it wasn't too boring of a tour. And uh, yeah, check me out on Instagram at b dead moon. That's the letter B followed by the word dead moon. Uh, right here on YouTube at From the Grave. Just uh, look up Benjamin Deadmoon and you'll find my page. And that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm on Twitter as well at Deadmoon if you want to go over there. I pretty much just retweet stuff I find interesting. And my Instagram uh, posts, I think, go to, go to Twitter too if that's your sort of thing. Anyways, that's going to be it for all. Thanks for watching. Like, follow, subscribe if you're new. If you're not, uh, then you would just either like because you already follow and you already subscribe, I suppose. Anyways, do it if you must. Do it if you will. But free country, right? Do what you want. Or if you're overseas, I don't know. Still do what you want. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. And as always, take care.